You know what? We thought of you, everyone at home, and we wanted to give you, yes, you, 10% off of all your purchases on Jinx.com. Hit the promo code. Quit stalling underscore 366 into that field where it says discounts and get yourself 10% off of everything you can find on Jinx.com. 10% off. Why using the promo code quit stalling underscore 366. Check it out. We have, or they have, a wide variety of gamer merch, whether it be World of Warcraft, The Witcher, or Minecraft. Let them blow your minds here on Jinx.com. Quit stalling underscore 366 and save yourself 10% off of all your purchases. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, it's Game Bite. Welcome everyone, I am your host, I am Harold Silvestre, that is my real name, FYI, that is how it's spelled, you heard it right, it's not Harold, it's Harold, and I'm broadcasting live from the Quitstalling Media Studio studio, and I am not alone today, let's get right into it, let's go to a throwback with the maelstrom of hate and fury, he's known as D's Nuts, ladies and gentlemen, Give it up for Instant DZ himself, Diego Z. How you doing, Diego? I'm doing great. I actually just woke up right before the show. That's when I said I had to freshen up when you asked me where I was. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Uh, Is yeah. that why you look pixelated right now? You look you look hella pixelated. <laughs> <laughs> well, a certain ISP isn't performing at its top peak, so, you know, that's why. I, but yeah. I just assumed you were still loading. I just assumed you were still loading. Maybe. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Yeah. But yeah, I'm <laughs> glad to be glad to be here this week. Uh, glad to be on the show as usual. Ah, uh, where was I? Gonna, where was I going with that? Um, a lot of places. Yeah, a lot of places, definitely. So, I'm just gonna kick back, relax, sip the coffee. Oh. One thing I will say that the Sonic movie was great. Period. Back to you. Excellent. Harold. Exclamation point on that period, ladies and gentlemen. Me and DZ, we got another buddy here that goes on the show with us on the regular. All right. He actually got Fury in his handle. Ladies and gentlemen, Quitstalling's resident tavern keeper. It's the Fury bot, Mick the Guzman. How you doing, Mick? Hey, everyone. <laughs> How are you doing? So, so I'm doing great. <laughs> so good. Right, right. It w wasn't it good? I was actually keeping it in my mouth the whole time. Uh -huh. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody in chat. The chat is so lively tonight. Unbelievable! Ooh. Yeah, a lot of a lot of supporters for our special guest tonight. Isn't that right, That's Harold? Right. That's right, Mick. And we're gonna cut to that special guest right now. She's not exactly from the land of the rising sun. Maybe three fifths of the way there. All right, you might have seen her from such productions as The Nationals and so much more. Maybe a vlog from 2016. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the one and only Yuko Ishikawa. How you doing, girlfriend? <laughs> I just had to flex all the stuff because, you know, the intro of these two men were just too much. So, <laughs> I had to top them. So, hi guys. Good evening. Good morning, wherever you are. Um, my name is Yuko, and thank you so, so much for having me as your guest. To all the viewers out there, do not forget to share this. You know, tag in your friends or just make them watch this and join in the fun. But, yeah, I just hope that everyone will have a fun time today. Exactly. That's, that's well said, Yuko, and thank you. Oh, we got a raid oh, almost oh, okay. immediately you, from you Curry You want to play that server. game, huh? You want to <laughs> play that game? I don't want to play that game, huh? Oh, come on. I raised we got a Nendoroid show off. Here we go. It's a showdown, DZ. A Nendoroid showdown on the show. Real quick, thank you, Curry. Thank you, Curry, for raiding us with your lovely viewers. I hope you had a great stream. I saw you unboxing some stuff and playing some... Was it League? Well, we hope you had a good stream. Yuko, DZ, Mick, it's a fun night out here tonight. We got Like Saber in there as well, the newly rebranded Like It Looser. But you know, guys, it's Women's Month. It's all about the women. Curry, Laika, Yuko, and so much more. But we start the show off the same way every time. And why break tradition? Everyone in the chat, and of course, my co hosts and our lovely guests, let us know what have you been playing dz show us how it's done what have you been playing buddy okay because the sonic movie was so awesome <laughs> oh, I, just, no. I, <laughs> I cannot get over it guys i cannot get over it because the sonic movie is so awesome i decided to download sonic mania again uh you know mm -hmm. sonic mania came about came out a couple years back so i played it just last night 
uh, the nostalgia never gets old. The gameplay of the original Sonic never gets old. And that's what I love about Sonic Mania. It captured the pure essence of Sonic. Because a lot of people have this idea now that Sonic's all about speed. The game, okay, is all about speed and fa- and um, just going really gotta fast. Gotta go fast. Yeah, gotta go fast. And they fix it fast. Uh, but the, I, the thing is, Sonic was always about just absolutely great game design in terms of platforming. I mean, after the first stage, it's so hard to go fast already. But the thing is, it's this plat- fast. Yeah, but what's what what's the beauty about it <laughs> is that it's keeping a good momentum despite, like you know, it's keeping a good momentum. Because it, it, if you actually, <laughs> some guy, I, I don't know if you guys know Matt Pat from Game Theory, he actually tried I do to. Not. Oh, shame! It's a shame. <laughs> but no, no. But yeah, Matt Pat from Game Theory. Who are we kidding? Um, he actually measured both the speed of the original Super Mario Brothers Mario as compared to Sonic. Okay. Mario is actually faster, if I'm not mistaken. So that just proves the point that Sonic, the game, he's marketed as a fast character, but the game is all about platform. Wait, so you're telling me Mario is faster even when Sonic like speeds up and goes into his ball mode and goes? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's based relative to their stage, essentially. Oh, mm-hmm. okay. And that's if you put it like that, Mario is actually faster. Science, dude. Mm. Science. Science. Science, Science and math, but yeah, Sonic, Science. Sonic Mania, playing it over again. I got the second, I got the seven Chaos Emeralds. Now I'm ready to breeze through the whole thing. Nice, awesome. I'm gonna go into chat real quick, DZ. If you're done, are you are you completed? I am done, Have you? Sir. Excellent, Sonic man. Good games, good games. Uh, Bmo King of Wu in the chat confused me because I thought she was telling me the score of something, but it's a Bmo's been playing Yakuza Zero and Forza Four. Forza. So Forza, I'm assuming that's Forza Horizon because Forza Horizon is the bomb, as we mentioned mm-hmm. last week on the show. Rockheart in the chat, Carl saying GTRP. He's been role playing as the Popo. All right, not a fan of the Popo at the Momo, but you know what, Carl, you I'm a fan of. So good stuff, mm-hmm. dude. Good stuff. Uh, we're gonna get back to the chat in just a little bit. You know what, Mick? I always go to you and DZ first, but let's break tradition. It, yeah. it is Women's Month. Yuko, After what have all. you been playing? All right, so um, aside from Mobile Legends and GTA RP as well, I have been playing this new mecha game, Super Mecha Champions. It's like, think of it Ooh. as PUBG, but you're a animu shoujo or a shonen, and then you just Ooh. have mecha and you just blast off missiles everywhere. Also, wow. um, for Switch games, Xenoblade Chronicles 2, Astral Chain, and <clears throat> n- n- just, you know, Pokemon. I do have the Shield Edition. And yeah, Shield. that's pretty much it. Shield, that's right? Awesome. Shield. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I- I'm more of a sword man myself, but appreciate, I appreciate Shield. the Shield players mm-hmm. out there. Yuko, you mentioned the mech game. Uh, just a quick second ago. What is that? You, you're saying it's a mecha battle royale? Is that yeah. what? You, is that what, it, what? What's the name? I have to. I have to look this up. What is it? What is it? Super mecha champions. You should look it up, man. Also, oh, add me afterwards. Mecha. Let's play. Nice. <laughs> it's, on, right. it's on PC, right? I'm down for that. Is it this a is PC mobile? game? Or mo- it's wait, a mobile, mobile game. game. Oh, Android guys. Opening it up right now. I'm tra- wait, <laughs> was, yo, we're gonna we're gonna put it up on screen real quick because I'm so curious about this game. What is this? This looks really cool. We're, we're going to play a little bit. Lord. That does look good. Wow. Okay, so what's going on right now, Yuko? Are we are we running through the world? Is this open world or no, no, it, it's it's a it's a battleground, right? It's a Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, it's just like PUBG, you click a place or area where you want to loot stuff and then when you see someone, take them out. It takes like one or two minutes before the bar for your mecha to actually go on. And once okay. and once it is on, you tap it, you choose a mecha that you can either buy or the game gives you for free. And okay. yeah, that you just customize and just cost ruckus everywhere. I personally like the the mecha's pretty slow. It's a teddy bear color yellow teddy bear, but okay. the damage is really high. <laughs> That's adorable and also super wow. cool. So how often, like, we just saw a lot of, uh, or quite a bit of your human avatar running around. How much time do you actually get to play as the mecha or in the mecha? Um, let's see. Actually, the life for the mecha is actually 
pretty long as long as you don't okay. die. But let's say you do die, it takes 40 to 50 seconds for the mecha to regen or be up again. Oh, that's so God, cool. That's an eternity in a battle royale. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. That's super yeah. true. But that's so awesome. Okay. We definitely have to check this out in mm -hmm. the very near future. Definitely. Is it on iOS too? Or is it just Android? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think it's on iOS as well. That's so cool. Okay. I, I gotta play this. I, I gotta try this out. Man. All right. Before I get carried away with all the mecha stuff, Nick, what have you been playing, buddy? Uh, let me get the other stuff out of the way. I have been playing Hearthstone. Um, what else? Uh, Final Fantasy XIV, because it's the new patch. Um, a little bit oh. of Destiny 2. We're, we're kind of slowing down because uh, the new patch is going to come out soon. So the new season will begin. I think around March 13, maybe. Okay. So that's a, a new a new season pass for, from 1 to 100 again with all the free stuff. And, of course, new content. Um, and, of course, uh, the reason why I, I put those first and I put them up there first. Because I I picked up a game that a few years back in a, in a different podcast, I actually said this was the game that I was totally excited about. Oh. Are you guys familiar with the game, The Division 2? Never heard of it. Nope. Well, it's this, well, imagine the COVID, but it's deadlier. And apparently there are sleeper <laughs> agents in the world and they tried to save the world. And you're one of them. That is The Division 2. Well, guess so, what? Uh, it went on sale. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, okay. It went on sale. Uh, it went on sale to about, I think, 380 pesos if you, in the Uplay store. And even went down to 150. I bought it for 80 bucks because a friend of mine gave me 300 bucks. So I just mm. paid the 80 bucks instead. Money. So I'm playing it now. And the new the new expansion ju expansion just came out, which is Warlords of New York. The Ooh. the new because the original the division. I really loved I really loved uh Warlords of New York. I really wish they didn't focus on the orcs too much, but you know, that's, yeah. that's just me. <laughs> oh, nice. I, I I got that. Took a while. But yeah. Uh the division one was based in New York. And Division 2 is, of course, in Washington, D.C. With the expansion coming, with the new expansion coming in, you're actually going to fly back to New York. Um, try to try to close out a story, which is nice. I like it. I like the uh, quality of life changes they've done from Division 1 to Division 2. I mean, in okay. terms of graphics, it's almost the same. Just a little fine tweaking with the, ba the background images, like your surroundings, how open world it gets. Mm -hmm. um, but it's nice. I like the feel. The, the combat system is a lot more fluid as compared to before, where it's a little clunky because it's it's a com it's a corner to corner, um, cover to cover. Sorry, cover to cover shooter. So it's not as um, it's not as fast paced as any other game that we are all familiar with, like Destiny Two or or you know CS:GO or anything like that. So it's it's a pretty it's a breath of fresh air because I haven't played something like this in years. So I'm I'm really excited. I am level 15. Thank you to my friend who recruited me and boosted me to 15 in one in like three hours. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, that was pretty fast. And I got free stuff. Is that it. fast? Okay, that's yeah, awesome. That's pretty dude. fast, dude. It takes you like uh, to get to 30. It takes you days, man. Like the the que the questing is actually pretty long. It'll take you two three days to get Oof. to 30. Even even more actually. That's crazy. So, thanks to my friend for that. And of course, lastly. I think oh, there's more. Important. Okay. Yes, there's one more. <laughs> but wait, there's it. more. Oh, wait, there's more. Uh, I picked up a mobile game. It's called Used Car Dealer. You're basically... Uh, <laughs> so, dude, it's so much fun. I'm going to show you now. Okay, so I'm sorry. Like I know we're laughing, but that sounds like such a fun game. I swear. It is I a know. fun game. Oh, my God. So the Make, story is... Give me your toilet. Oh. After this, sorry. I have to say it. I'm going to give the forget. toilet rating. Don't the worry. toilet rating. Please. Do it now, we, do we it now, and lower your brightness. Toilet rating. Okay, so basically, it's a used car dealer. Lower you your own screen a brightness. A dealer. All oh, right. Like, we can't wait, see wait, anything. It's a, it's <laughs> light. <laughs> Sorry about that. I can see the light taking me. <laughs> no, no, you go. Don't go to it. Don't <laughs> go right, to the is, light. Is this better? Is this better? There. Much there. better. Yeah. So basically, you own a used car lot. And from there, you will sell cars. Cars will be coming in, and you can purchase them. You can, you can have a purchaser to buy them and you can even bargain with them like for example i can bargain to try to lower the price 
See? Oh, I can sell it for five hundred fifty-five dollars, and it sells for four thousand. Wow! So I bought that. So this is this is from Dragonfly. Do we not know a game from Dragonfly that was popular? I feel like um, it feels like you know uh, I don't know like supermarket. Maybe I think it was supermarket uh, vendor. Uh, okay. Basically, you own a supermarket and you just transfer from city to city. Yeah, but or am I really also thinking of a Facebook game that that was popular before? I'm, I'm not. Oh, you mean the um, that that garage game, the one? No, where, no, I'm thinking of something else. Never mind, never quest? mind. Oh, shopkeeper quest. Shopkeeper quest. Dude, you guys are so into shopkeeper quest, aren't you? Oh my god, oh, yeah, is dude. this game anything like shopkeeper quest? If it if it is, I will. It it, it it's a <laughs> little less um. It's a little less shop titans, and a little more like idol uh, tycoon. If you were a f if you are a fan of the idol idol tycoon series, okay, it's a lot of fun. I swear. This actually so. looks really cool. Yeah, it I does, mean, it's, doesn't it? You, you just keep upgrading. You just leave it. I left it for like a day, and I already made so much money. <laughs> That's awesome. I don't even want to bargain anymore because not every some you can fail your bargain, so you're just gonna miss out on an opportunity to sell something more expensive. So. <laughs> Yeah. Awesome. Fine, dude. Uh, all right, dude. Uh, so I want to give uh, another game that was given in the chat. So like Saber said uh, that she's currently playing Phoenix Wright Ace hey! Attorney. That's I pretty badass. That. That's pretty That's pretty cool. Oh, man. I, I have not played it myself, but I've watched a couple of videos and I've seen all the memes. So I'm pretty sure I'm caught up. So. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's so awesome. <laughs> How are you finding it, Michael? Like, oh, for sure, for sure. Have you played it, Yuko? Yeah, um, I actually borrowed a 3DS. Yeah, that was a 3DS from my friend, and I and she said, yeah. So all all of the, all of the Phoenix right series, you it'll take like a month for me to finish it, and I was like, after two weeks, yo, what up? It's done. Thank you so oh, much. Oh dang, girl. <laughs> Wow. Dang, that's awesome and did you like it um, uh, you look like you enjoyed it i loved it, it. i loved it yeah and uh, actually when i saw the comment that the person made in, in the chat i'm like finally someone who mentioned it because you know it's you you know you love a game but sometimes you forget how much you love it up until someone actually mentions the title so yeah just I, i'm just really happy oh man that you, you you do look happy and you do look like you enjoy it a lot i might have to try this out uh you should. Oh man, I think I will. I think I will. I want to give shout outs to our recent followers like uh Keefinated. I hope I'm saying that right. Keefinated? Keefy? Uh is this Keefy Ravenna? It was great seeing you the other week, man. Oh. Good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, <laughs> wow, what a flex. I just saw wow, Keefy Ravenna the other day, okay? Yeah, in the mall. You know, in the mall. I was just, I was just like, hey, bro. Friends now. Uh, no, I was just walking by like, hey, bro. Yeah, you know me. Yeah, you know me. <laughs> oh, it's her from Quit Stalling. It's just. Like, <laughs> it's like, oh my god, is that how he See? sounds like? <laughs> See? Now he's like, ah, oh, here it is. See? He's like, oh, I finally found you, bro. Finally found you. See? <laughs> it happened. Serendipity, guys. Uh, shout oh, out to man. Cranberry. Uh, shout out to Trandrew. Thank you guys so much for all these follows. Mm -hmm. Appreciate you. Just a random dude? I'm pretty sure yeah, you followed us before. Why, why did it. Why? Med Jelly. Thank you, Med Jelly. Majelli, Majelli. Uh, oh my gosh, sorry. Sarangola11, oh, 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 oh. Banjo0025, Luna SMG, and Wanderjus. Thank you guys so much for the follows. Follows. Thank you. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. <laughs> All right. We've talked enough about ourselves. Oh, what's that, Mick? What have I been playing? <gasps> what have okay, been playing? real quick, guys. Real quick. <laughs> I, know you, I know you're dying to find out. All right, so. We probably know what much. it is. <laughs> I've been so busy. I've been, I've been crazy, you know, interviewing people, you know, making content, you know, just, who has the time to play games? But when I do, I find myself in a fictionalized version of Dublin, Ireland. All right. I find myself what? going around the, the countryside. What? All right. What? I've been playing Forza Horizon 4 as well, guys. And it's been fun. This was fun. <laughs> Yeah. Dublin, Ireland. Dublin, Ireland. <laughs> Dublin, right. Ireland. <laughs> That's right. Giving myself a pint of Guinness. All right. I don't like anything uh, gelatinous, but I do love myself. Gelatinous. Some cars. Gelatinous. All right. Yes, it's been fun. It's been fun. But that's it. That's, that's about it. If anyone else wants to let Ooh. us know what they've Ooh. been playing, hit us up in the chat. Message us on our Discord in the Game Byte channel or tweet us 
at quit stalling us. Tweet us and hashtag game bite and let us know what you've been playing. All right, guys, that's it. That's it. Let's talk about Yuko. Let's get straight into the meat of things. Let's let's, let's get into the facts. I want to get to know Yuko better, guys. I want to I want to get to know Yuko better. I spent weeks, months trying to get this interview down, and we finally got her on the show. We finally convinced her to come on this this weird little internet show we do once a week. So, mm -hmm. without further ado, let's talk to Yuko. Let's let's uh let's go with the interview. Here we go. Welcome to the end, friend. Welcome, Yuko, to Game By It, formally. And uh, this segment of the show where we interview Yuko and get to know her is brought to you by the Quitstar and Geekcast. Back in action this Sunday, me, Wancho Saldana, and Derek O'Brien are back talking about all things geek and pop culture. Uh, there's a lot to catch up on, be it The Mandalorian, The Witcher, and so much more. So check us out this Sunday, the Quitstar and Geekcast. Let's talk to this lady. Let's talk to this lovely, lovely lady for this segment of the show, guys. Yuko, as I mentioned, we've been meaning to get you on the show for the longest time, and it's a pleasure for us to have you as our feature here on Women's Month, our first feature here on Women's Month, and especially here on Game Bite. We love ourselves some diversity, and of course, that diversity is highlighted, or the diversity only highlights the fact that you're an amazing person. You're a shoutcaster, you're a reporter, you're a cosplayer, and you're just a fun geek. You, you do so much. How much time do you have? Yuko, I've, 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 I've talked about you enough. How about you give us your elevator pitch? If you were stuck in, a in an elevator with someone, you know, you're, you're rising up to the 24th floor real quick, and you're like, oh, no, I have a meeting to get to, but you know what? Let me tell you about Yuko Ishikawa, caster, reporter, cosplayer. Could you give us that quick spiel, real quick? Could you give us that five second to 11 second to 20 second spiel on who you are? All right, so um, it would be that I started shoutcasting when I was 17, and my career to be a shoutcaster only went <clears throat> up or mainstream when I was 19 years old uh, because of Mobile Legends. And yeah, that's pretty much it for a quick review. Uh, but to other, add other info, I started cosplaying before I became a shoutcaster, mostly because I just love watching anime. I would watch anime anywhere, in front of a teacher, in front of my classmates, oh. and I'm done doing an exam. I just love doing that. First of all, your teachers must have been hella patient. <laughs> <laughs> that, that sounds no. That sounds really cool. So you're you're super into anime. What are your favorite animes? Um, if I were to mention a classic anime, it would be Toradora. But the most recent anime that I grew to love would be Violet Evergarden and what was the other way? Yeah, Shigatsu wa Kimi no Oso or Your Lie in April. I heard an audible gasp. Which one? Which one of you guys was that? I think that was, yeah, I heard, I think who was that? That was, who that was, was me. That was, that was me. Violet Evergarden. Right, right. The movie is coming. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited. Oh. Feels right. Episode Feels. ten, my boy. Episode ten. Oh, please, please no, no, don't bring it up. I'm gonna start crying. No. <laughs> Hey, we're good. We're good. <laughs> Nick is not ready yeah, to man. unleash his yeah, you know, he's not ready to unleash his feelings just yet. Uh not yet. Yuko, we have a question in the chat from Curry Server asking when your next cosplay is or to to quote, next cosplay when? It would be on April uh cosplay carnival because a friend of mine invited me to cosplay again. I'm like, yeah, it's been one or two years since I last cosplayed, so why not? That's awesome. Has it been that long already? Yeah. Um. Ever since I started being a shoutcaster, I just give it my all. Like, full time, I would watch VODs. I would talk to people, you know, talk to companies, pro players, whatever. Um, it's fun, of course. But sometimes, whenever I sit down, I see all of these awesome cosplays on my feed. I'm like, you know, it. I do miss it. Especially that this is the first... Not, not profession. This is the first act or community where I actually had a following. Oh, okay. So, how did you get into cosplay? Um, I think I, I was watching Code Geese. And I was Googling for more photos of CC. I was like, wait, why is a girl wearing a wig? 
and she has the same costume CC has. I was like, "Yo, mama, what's this?" And she's like, "Yeah, that's cosplay. <laughs> People uh, dress up to their favorite anime characters and they go to cons." So I actually asked her, "Is it okay if I try cosplaying?" And she said, "It's okay." And she was very supportive, but under one condition: like I have to enter this science high school. So I was like, yeah. "I'm gonna do it for cosplay." So I did. I, I entered the high school. And the first thing I said was, so can I cosplay now? Of course, my mom laughed and she's like, all right, let's give it a go. And from there, it was pretty much just... Hey, that's... yeah, that's CC right there! Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, so, real quick, that's so cool. So your mom was like, yes, cosplay all you want, but build your future today. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <That's> so interesting. <laughs> that sounds like a like corporation tagline. Do what you want now, <laughs> but build your future today. <laughs> <laughs> You you need to copyright that Harold. Like these <laughs> these two guys are gonna steal it from you. Uh, I've been I've been doing too much copyright. I think is what's that's that's what's going on right now. DZ, you, oh my gosh, I didn't even mean that. Okay, that's enough. Jibun that's Wo en- said Nico plays right here. That's like first two words of the opening. I'm like hell yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, so anime is what got you into cosplaying. What else has inspired your cosplay? I've seen. Uh, I've seen your photos of, of cosplay. You, you've done quite a wide array of characters. A lot of them lean towards the Eastern side of culture and, and pop culture. Uh, give us a rundown of your favorite cosplays so far. Um, that would be Sinon from Start Art Online and Tubi from Near Automata. Also, Kubo Yukihime from Axel World. Like Those three were the characters that just stuck with me ever since. Oh, that's so awesome! Wow. And are those, uh, or is that because of the the property that they're from? Do you love the game, the the show mm-hmm. that they're from, and that's really what made you get into it? Or is it more of like uh, a deeper connection to the character? Like, wh- why those characters? This is gonna sound cheesy, but yeah, I just felt like I have this certain connection to that character. That made me say, you know what? I'm just, I just want to cosplay this. Like, I'm gonna go all out. I just want this. Oh, definitely, and uh, we we definitely understand that. You know, uh, that's why back in high school, I cosplayed as Jimi Hendrix. I was like, yeah, I I totally know what it's like to grow an afro and and just play guitar <laughs> in front of like hundreds of people. I, I get you. Yo. I get you, girl. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> there's a photo Revelation. somewhere out there on multiply oh no multiply's dead right there's somewhere out there there's a photo of me in bell bottom pants except and multiply maybe the way dude, back machine will help i know right. dude somewhere out there there's like a photo of me in, in white bell bottom pants uh my left-handed guitar and like an afro wig there's just there's somewhere someone out there. look for that please <laughs> Yeah, I swear it, it's out there, but uh, unfortunately, Facebook only goes back to college for me. So, oh, I you have see. to dig harder. You have to dig harder. Gosh, uh, Hugo. Speaking of music, I've seen evidence on the internet of you playing violin and uh, maybe oh, a little yeah. bit of drums. So, do you you have a musical background? Is that right? I do. Um, this is a very funny trivia and I'm, that I'm going to share to everyone. Uh, there's this guy that I like way back grade 6. He plays the violin. So I was like, me being young, hey, I want to play violin because my crush plays the violin. <laughs> so I started playing it too. <laughs> I feel so ashamed right now. But anyway, so yeah, I started playing the violin and then I realized, hey, this is fun. I actually like playing musical instruments. So I transitioned to piano, guitar, and a lot more. I tried flute, but I don't really like the windpipe family. So I'm more of a uh, percussion type mm-hmm. of girl. Yeah. Oh, oh man, dude. that's so percussion. Meaning, you have you expanded past drums, or are drums like really just mm-hmm. you know the thing for you? I believe have you tried that drums giant is like the is the one for me. I did oh, try man. cello, but like oh. piano is number one, drums number two, and third Ooh. is the cello. I see. I know I talked wow. about this with someone recently. School of Rock was a big influence on me in terms of getting into instruments. I think DZ, you and I might have talked about that in the past as well because mm-hmm. of Jack of Black. Uh, 
Yuko, was School of Rock any influence on you at all? I no, not, not even know a little. That. <gasps> Wait, <laughs> are you what? serious? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. Is, we will. We will talk about this. We will talk about this. Okay. After I, show, I feel like you'll show. enjoy it. All right. This yeah. means we can't All make right. the chillo joke. No, that's exactly <laughs> what I thought of. That's exactly when you when Yuko said cello, I, in my yeah. mind, I just well, I immediately got... went to, to, to the side. <laughs> cello. cello. Yeah. Yeah, but okay, you know, but, the thing is, every time, even like when like not today, every time I hear <laughs> cello, I always think about that. Cello. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, Yuko will get this eventually. Uh, yeah, after the show, we'll talk about School of Rock. I'm making a note right now. Talk about yeah. school. Oh. And, yeah. and while you do that, so Yuko, you did mention that you are a drummer. Yeah. Where? I, I, I'm curious. Where did you learn by any chance? As in, like, did you? By any chance, play a game on in time zone called Percussion Freaks. I actually uh, uh played a drum game. What was that called? Dramania. Dr- Dramania, yeah. Dramania. Oh, 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 that's yeah. how I learned as well. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, that's how we all learn. <laughs> Our afterwards, generation. <laughs> afterwards, it was like, um, again, my mom was very supportive in everything I wanted to try out. I I said, Mom, I want to try out uh, playing drums. But I don't actually want to rush her into buying me a drum set because, of course, oh, that's hell expensive. So she expensive. said, "Yeah, sure. Um, why not try to learn the drums by a church?" So I was actually a singer in the youth church before, and I said, "Can I try playing drums, less? And they yes, played it. And I go, <laughs> it worked. Oh. It worked. <laughs> <laughs> One, wow. I love, I'm, I'm loving your mom more and more and how supportive she is. Yeah. Two, we're dropping so many facts about you, like the fact that you sing as well. <laughs> no samples, though. <laughs> okay, no, we're not going to pressure you. We'll, we'll do that uh, when we have you over here at the studio and, uh, you know, we'll do Twitch things or something. We'll, we'll, we'll set it up. We'll set it up. We'll set it up. We really have to hear that lovely singing voice. Uh, Dizzy, you got any questions, man? I feel like I'm bombarding Yuka on... Uh, I'm not giving you. Yeah, I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting for the perfect segue, you know. <laughs> oh, so speaking of Spanish blood, Yuko, no. Diego actually has a lot of it <laughs> flowing through his veins. <laughs> there you go. I thought I thought I thought Diego was gonna go. So, do you like tapas? <laughs> <laughs> it's only pronounced paella when we're in Spain, but here it's paella. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, no, no, seriously though. Okay, <clears throat> Yuko, you know how you know how every year there's always this. When you go to cosplay events, you see all these people dressing up as the same person. There's a trending cosplay. It's like you know when that year when um when, Harley Quinn, when the Batman. Yeah, it was when yeah yeah last year it was all Harley Quinn, and the year before that was all Joker, Suicide Squad, Suicide Squad, and all that. So what do you think is going to be the trending um the, the trending cosplay for the general audience or the general cosplaying community? What is going to be the most common general scene? like forever? Yeah, like everyone's gonna wear. Okay, everyone's gonna dress up as this person. Everyone's gonna dress up as this that year. person. This year. This year. This year. That yes. would be from any character from Kimetsu no Yaiba and oh! I will mm-hmm. bet my five pesos. I don't have much money, I'm sorry. I spent it all on Android. I will <laughs> bet my five pesos that a lot of cosplayers are gonna cost people from Kimetsu no Yaiba and Art Knights. Um for Kimetsu, I think Mitsu Oh, I, I actually didn't watch the anime because I was busy, but like the green and pink haired girl, Mitsuji. Mitsuji. Oh, the... And uh, yeah, the girl Michael was Jackson. riding the bamboo. Yeah. <laughs> Michael Jackson. The Michael Jackson guy. <laughs> you know, speaking of, speaking of Demon Slayer, that has a wonderful intro. I know. Yeah, it's really I mean, good in the drums. I actually discovered the yeah, anime because, it, because the, the singer and the music was just on point, man. Yeah. I said Ooh. I wanted to watch it, but you mm. know, Super Mega Champions. <laughs> it wasn't yeah. the way. Yeah, yeah. For the, for for those for the people at home, it's uh, Gurenge by Lisa. It's really good. Yes. Cool. Listen to it. It's on Spotify. Mm. Good stuff. Good stuff. Mm-hmm. Although, oh, what? Even though it might be those two animes, yes. What What are the odds that um, me and Harold were actually talking about this uh, early in the year? What are the odds? A lot of people. Have you seen people started dressing up as um, Geralt of Rivia, uh, Yennefer, or Yaskir? Anything related to that? Tris. Mm. Or Tris. Mm. Truck. <laughs> Truck. Mm, Truck. Let's see. Um, 
truck. First time Witcher went out as a console game, I have seen one, two, three at most people cosplay it, but not in the mainstream. Like not Hatsune Miku, not hard in a Harley level. Quinn way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, nice. that's understandable. That's understandable. What, I mean, what aside from like. I mean, of course, popularity. What determines the that trend? Is it because okay, it's easier to dress up as these people, or is just because it's purely fan base? Honestly, I would have to go with popularity because um, I have seen difficult anime characters or game characters, yet a lot of people still cosplay them. So I guess it's a matter of how much of an impact did that anime or game do to the viewers or players. Okay. Wow. Really dedication, then. Wow. Definitely. I mean, I'm like wow. speaking of Kimetsu no Yaiba. I'm seeing. Oh, I've seen a pair of people cosplay the pig, pig guy, pig head guy, and that, that's not, that's that's not <laughs> oh. easy. You know what I mean? Right, we actually right. helped one of them. We actually helped also, one like, of them with the, the head. Super muscular build. That takes dedication, man. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, for some people it's natural. You know. Mick doesn't mean to brag, but you know, mm -hmm. sometimes you gotta work hard for it. Yeah. Mm. Oh, man. Whatever you say. <clears throat> Truck. <laughs> Truck. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, going back into esports, Yuko, we've talked about your personal life a little bit. Let's go into gaming and esports and, you know, maybe a little bit of your early life. What got you into gaming? What got you into video games? It was when um, my uncle started selling PSPs. I was in grade two or grade three that time. So I forgot how young you were. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, so um, I did not have any exposure to anime or gaming before that. I was just reading books. So I was like, what's that? Un uncle, what's that? So he gave me, a, he lent me a PSP. I played with it for a bit. It was Ratchet and Clank. So Ooh. I said, I, I want the PSP as well. So my mom gave, bought me one as a birthday gift. And I started playing the third birthday. I hope anyone, any of you knows that game because I freaking love that game. It was the game that got me into gaming. It's an RPG. You just shoot around monsters and stuff. The storyline is very cool as well. So yeah, basically the PSP game, the third birthday was the game that got me into gaming. And after that, I tried out these other um, PSP games, PBS, and I transitioned to PC games. I did not have a PC back then, so mm -hmm. I had to rent a computer at the comp shop. But mm -hmm. my mom did not like the environment, so oh, yeah. and I, I, I totally, I'm totally okay with that since I, again I was young. So I just had yeah. to stick with my PSP most of the time. That's also trivia. That's also how I learned Japanese. I started playing. Uh, otome games if you're familiar with that and they were mostly japanese so instead of waiting for the english version oh, grade two or wow. grade three you could be like yeah let's just learn japanese <laughs> it's, I, again i was too impatient when it comes to games <laughs> so mm -hmm. there's that hey you know that's, that's that's a great way to start learning japanese and a lot of filipinos have started <laughs> to learn japanese through Japanese video games, especially ones that don't get localized to English quickly. Yeah. We all memorize which is the yes button and which is the no. The yes is like yes. right? <laughs> shorter than the, the no, right? Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> all the yes, I like, <laughs> proceed. <laughs> <or>. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. That, that's so true. Like, there, if, if I remember correctly, growing up back in uh, Yuka, I'm sorry, back, back, in, back in our day. Uh, in, in the old PlayStation what? One days, uh, th there was this Gundam game that, that oh. had the Gundams, like every Gundam in chibi style, and it never got localized in English. Oh. So I played it, and I just tried to figure out which Japanese uh, text box would lead me to the attacks that I liked. I would always <laughs> fail, but you know it was a fun experience. So yeah, I, I'm no stranger to trying to memorize. Uh, which button was yes and which button was cancel. So, totally understand. Totally understand that. Photographic um, memory, man. <laughs> oh, I do not have that and I really struggled. So, you know, maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe if I did, it would have been easier. <laughs> oh. Okay, so 
let's let's move on a little bit to your professional career in in video games. So, what made you go with your real name? You know, a lot of people go with uh, pseudonyms like Butters. You know, some people go with uh, more exotic names like Rockheart. Uh, but for the real, real, yeah, you know, the realest of real people, we go with our real names. Yeah, <laughs> like like Yuko and Harold. <laughs> so, what, what made you? <laughs> What made you decide to to go with your real name? Wait, no, Yuko is an IGN. It's oh, really? Name. It is yeah. not your real name. Revelation, but yeah, it's oh, facts, people. You sir have been bamboozled. I have been ba- <laughs> the Give nerd. me the card of bamboozlement, sir, because I I have been bamboozled. And actually, the funny thing about this is, um, Yuko has been on for like the longest time. Even my schoolmates called me Yuko. Like they wow. disregard my real name. My co-casters call me Yuko. Like if, if you're familiar with Shinbu, Shinbu calls me Yuko. So mm. there's that. Oh man, that's well, technically awesome. Technically, all of our nicknames, is, if it's not part of, if it's not on my passport or. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, it's, yeah. Technically, it's not my real name, you know. Yeah, that's true. Heck, Diego's not even my real. Name. <laughs> that's right, Carlos. Shut up! Please be quiet. I never want to hear that again. Oh, Carlos, no. how are you, Carlos? Go away. Sound is oh, so español. Stop it. Oh, muy bien, muy bien. Stop it. It hurts. It hurts. <laughs> Okay, well, Yuko will have to find out your real name off screen because we're not going to publicize that. All right. Mm-hmm. But uh, that's awesome to know. So what? Wh- where did you get your name from again? Sorry. Um, Yuko is... I got the name Yuko from Yuko Kanue, a, the main okay. character from the anime Dusk Maiden X Amnesia or Tasugara X Otome no Amnesia. Um, oh. She's just basically this very bubbly, pretty, sweet girl. That's like, yeah, I like her a lot. I I was in grade five or grade four when I saw that. Wow. So of course, young Yuko be like, yeah, I like her. Let's get her first name. And oh. my my original surname on Facebook was Isaka because I got Isaka from Toradora, but I switched it oh. to Ishikawa because. Why did I switch to Ishikawa? I think I googled Japanese surnames. I was like, yeah, let's see which one fits. And I just picked Ishikawa out of nowhere. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. it. (laughs) Name generator. (laughs) I just fooled everyone. That's not even my real name. All right. right. His real name is Harold. (laughs) Gosh, dang it. No, but that's awesome, Yuko. Okay. So... Is, is that another character you identified with? Is yeah, it, is it? Um, she mm. is. She's again. She's very bubbly. But there was also this episode that she, her dark side, kind of mm. became the antagonist of the anime. So I just Ooh. like the symbolism. Like, oh, she's a ghost, by the way. <laughs> uh, it's just fun that um, no matter how happy or bubbly someone is, there is and is still a dark side of them. Like even mm-hmm. though they try to escape it. If you just keep on escaping it, it's going to catch up you. You're going to have to deal with it sooner or later. That's awesome. That's awesome. All right. Well, you go. Now, 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 I, can't, now I can't think straight because I was like, oh, okay. It's not her real. I, I keep saying it like it's her real name in my head. You know, I, I process it differently now. Okay. Bamboozled. You go. Yeah, yeah, bamboozled. Like straight up. Uh, you were part of history last December. One of many people who were part of history in December. Uh, what was it like shoutcasting Arena of Valor at the Southeast Asian Games in 2019? Late 2019. Uh, we, we saw you with uh, your partner, Kai Saya, uh, a couple of times on screen. You also, yeah, you had a couple of partners. But uh, this clip with Kai Saya is what we're showing right now. What was it like, Yuko, being on screen, national TV, international TV? It was honestly such an honor. Like I couldn't wrap my head around it. Like and like right now, I'm seeing that clip. I just I'm gonna cry because <laughs> I don't know. Um, the first first time someone, there was someone from Signal TV that mm. told me, "Can I get your info? I need a photo of your ID and stuff like that." So I was like, "But why?" 
Did you look around? Yeah. Was that when you were like, stranger danger, stranger yeah. danger? I know, I know. I was like, but like, okay, you're from Signal TV. Let's. I'm gonna send the info. And then I asked, what is this for? And they said it's for Sea Games. I was like, I'm gonna. I if, at first I thought I was gonna courtside. So okay. I'm gonna courtside for Sea Games. Maybe yeah, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> and I was already happy with that. So yay, okay. I'm gonna be part of Sea Games. Um, and then. We, there was this meeting, and I realized that I was actually going to be a caster for in for a game in the esports category. Honestly, I was vouching and I was hoping for Mobile Legends, but I love Arena Valor just as much. And the being able to cast, even though that's just like one or two series, it was an honor. And it's I'm not gonna cry. It's just a day that I would honestly remember all throughout my life because. That's the first time esports was actually in, considered rather as a gold game or gold medalist option. So it's fun. Um, that was maybe 30 minutes or one hour before I started casting. I was I was at the verge of crying out of happiness because I couldn't wrap my head around it. Like there's so many amazing casters. But I was one of the very few people that got chosen for that. And I'm just, it's just the motivation to keep on staying in this field. That's awesome. You did so well, by the way. I managed to tune in at the exact moment where you, some moments where you and Kaisaya were on screen and you killed it. You absolutely nailed it. So congratulations on that. Man. Seeing myself and uh, that's kind of like, is that me? With makeup? <laughs> I have eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> and and you know, I don't, I don't want to show the clip again because it was kind of blinding. But was it as blinding to you being in front of those lights as it was to us watching the the stream? Yes, <laughs> it hurts so much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what happened I, I there? Admit, maybe I just see skin quality. I don't know. <laughs> so like um, in the first game or like the first half of the first game, they asked mm -hmm. us to take our glasses off. Yeah. And let me tell you, I uh, am I am so blind without oh. my glasses. So I was only staring at something. I pretend it's the camera, and then I yeah. I would always look back at Kaysaya because she's like half or one half of my arm away from me and i could not see her like that's Whoa. how bad my eyesight wow. is wow okay so, that is pretty after, bad after after the <laughs> after game one i was like you know what truck this i'm gonna truck this <laughs> truck this <laughs> uh, nice sensor <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's so I good um but was it a production thing because honestly like watching that was really harsh on the eyes like yeah. Maybe. I mean, maybe they just want to, I don't know, remove shadows from the casters. And maybe Ooh. it's just their way of, you know, making yeah. sure that you, the audience can see anything. And sometimes people watch t television in a dim room. So maybe okay. that helps. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sir, this is this is my skin tone. This is not shadow anymore. Please stop trying to <laughs> eliminate it from the camera. Uh, that's amazing. And you mentioned being a reporter. I know you've done courtside reporting for the Nationals as well. Yeah. What's it like? And what do you prefer? Do you, do you prefer being in the Shoutcasters booth? Or do you prefer being out there on the field? Actually, um, if we're going to talk about esports, I would honestly go with Shoutcasting more. Mm -hmm. Maybe because I've been doing it for the longest time. And that's, that's basically where my mind and heart is at. But that doesn't mean that I love courtside uh, reporting anything like any less. I actually mm -hmm. love that I was given an opportunity to do courtside because it it, it made me um, discover a new part of me, you know. And um, interviewing the pro players, seeing them up close because of course sometimes if you're a shotcaster you can't actually talk with the pro yeah. players. Yeah. And I love the the how I rather I love how spontaneous. It is for me to ask questions. Like there was this one week in Tekken, if I'm not mistaken, that the Ooh. producer told me, you need to ask them funny questions. So like me, um, okay. And my, my first ever question was, if you were to get married to someone, 
which Tekken character would you want to be <laughs> as your priest? So, oh yeah, what priest? I mean, rather, which character from Tekken 7 would be your priest? And mm-hmm. one of the pro players said Devil Jin. I was like, yeah, oh, that's oh. so cool. <laughs> <laughs> that's an interesting wedding. I know. <laughs> Very interesting. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, that is super interesting. Oh. And... Quite terrifying. I'm gonna be honest. Yes, uh, I, would, you, I would pick Mokujin. You know, just the same. He's gonna, I, he's gonna I would change. Pick Panda. I don't know about you guys. It's just gonna go. Rrr, rrr, rrr. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like you can understand them, right? <laughs> I, I, I do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> I do. <Yeah. laughs> All right. You go dialing it back to the C games. I know that you were, you guys as shoutcasters were situated in a studio in a different location. How different was it uh, of a challenge to to be so far away from the the action and so, and so far away from the crowd? You know, hearing it, I know as a caster, it's important to hear the crowd and feed off of that energy. Uh, yeah, can you tell us more about that experience a little bit before we move on? I guess um, it opened a new skill or a new experience for me because you, like what like what Harold said, I usually feed off from the pro players and the audience's hype. So without that, I I, w- I actually I was actually questioning myself: How am I gonna cast this happily? Where am I gonna get my hype? So I just had to channel this new um, ball of energy inside mm-hmm. of me and just still cast. Uh, the way I want to, which is I usually go play by play and I yell you know, hype cast and all that. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's interesting. And you know, having that new skill and, and and that in mind, do you feel like you'd be able to do it again, or would you still prefer to be around that energy and around that, uh, you know, that hype? I would. I'm actually comfortable either way. Now that oh, I knew interesting. Uh, yeah. Actually for, for the nationals we have like three different boots for different casters and the one where I'm seated at is near the audience, but there's like um tarpaulins and stuff. And one of the yeah. boots they actually have a speaker. So that booth that those that booth's casters will be the one that's like heard by the audience. But mm-hmm. <laughs> one of my friends said Whenever you play my play, your voice is so loud that you I actually overcome the voice or the sound coming out from the speaker. Wow. I love the word overcome. Mm-hmm. That is that is um, that is an elegant and mm-hmm. also badass way of describing yeah. how, how how well you vocalize. That that's pretty cool. Oh wow. man. So Yuko as a caster. Oh, this is gonna be one of those uh, clippable moments. This is gonna mm-hmm. be one of those we can, we can post on the internet and, and get get those mm-hmm. clicks, get those likes. Yuko, yeah. if I was gonna ask you, uh, because we live in a time where technology uh, makes so many things accessible, you know, any average Joe like me and Diego Z over here can try our hands at shout casting. All right, it's 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 not it's not too far flung from our reality right now. But to you, Yuko Ishikawa, professional shoutcaster, professional reporter. On the court side, professional, what professional. makes professional professional? What makes a, a good shoutcaster? If you were to give us the top three things that you look out for in a partner or in someone that you see potential, and what are those three things? My top one would be that person, regardless of gender, regardless of background, he or she has to love the game, because once you start Agreed. loving the game. Mm-hmm. everything just falls into place you won't have a hard time memorizing the cooldowns the percentage whether it's zero uh, 0.09 percent or it's gonna lower the cooldown by one one uh 0.05 percent or whatever and number two it would be that that someone isn't in it for the money yes whenever you see these casters on social media they look like they're well off they look like they're get him them dollars but sometimes you shouldn't think of the money straight off do it because you love it and for number three that person should always keep on trying to be better regardless if you're the top one 
best shoutcaster in the entire world, you still have to keep on improving. Not just for other people, not just for your fans, but also for yourself. Because there's a certain magic and there's a certain authenticity to yourself and even in the when when you're carrying yourself in front of a camera when you know that yes this is an amazing cast but i can do better i can still be an inspiration to anyone that wants to enter the esports community since yeah a lot of people do want to enter our community right now and i actually love that it gets more exposure more people are willing to put in the investment the time and the passion for the community Oh man, there it is. Wow. Three things to look out for in a shoutcaster from Yuko Ishikawa. Check it, guys. Make sure that your shoutcaster has all those three things. That's amazing, Yuko. Thank you so much. That's that's, that's fantastic. All right, Round guys. Any more questions for Yuko? I, I, we have a we have a lot more to go, <laughs> and I know there is some, uh, you know, some queries brewing in those minds. DZ, I already see it. I already see it going through that wonderful <laughs> noggin of yours. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's doing a, okay. a beautiful uh, mind moment again. All right. Um, <clears throat> all right. Uh, you said that. You said that. Um, of course, you know, the one number one thing when it comes to shoutcasting is to love the game um, that you're shoutcasting, right? So, from what from what you've already shoutcasted and what you're experienced in, what is the one game that you? It's like. I want to try my hands. I want to dip my hands in this game and shoutcast it. What is that game? Ooh, that's actually a really good question. Um, I would honestly want to try and shoutcast FPS games for a change. Because all my life, I've Ooh. been shoutcasting MOBA and mm -hmm. full-on 5v5s. I actually want to try uh, shoutcasting Hearthstone as well. Oh. But, but I think I don't have the, like, the R's or the love for that game. Like, yeah, I play mm -hmm. Hearthstone whenever I can, but not in a suitable shoutcaster way because I've okay. seen people shoutcast Hearthstone and it's very difficult because you need to, while you're talking, you need to remember that, okay, this card's gone. There's a chance that this person will draw this card, this card next. So mm -hmm. it's, it's a lot mm -hmm. of possibility. And I actually yeah. like that. I don't like teasing my brain and just making checking how far it can go but yeah for now i do want to try to venture out to fps how about an fps that sort of plays like a moba because you think about cooldowns and all of that and then <gasps> it's I'm, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding i'm kidding that's not out yet that's not out yet that's not out yet that was a good although one. that that, that uh that supposed leak which is uh, something we were talking about dz seemed a little fishy <laughs> a little fishy but yeah, how about a little uh, 6v6 action, Yuko? Is that something that might, you know, interest you? I've seen a, seen a photo of you maybe showing some interest in that little 6v6 I'm talking about. You know, maybe a, a Korean-inspired cosplay might get you in. Oh. You know, I'm just saying. Maybe some mechas mm -hmm. that we've mentioned. You know, a little bit of fusion between Koreans and mechas and mobile-like <laughs> FPSs might get you in. Huh? Is that something that interests you, Yuko? <laughs> is this what you want? You say like, you think I'm a hype man. Is this what you want? Say it for me. I wouldn't be surprised if you go. Oh no, Nathan! Oh the hype man. man. Oh man. I am loving this interview, but the answer is yes. Clip it. You, clip it. You Someone just, clip it. You clip marketed it. it to me so well that I just want to shout cast and play it, you know. I wanna dive right into the game. Oh. Well uh, fire up that launcher and uh, we'll talk later. Alright, that's interesting. That's interesting, Yuko. We we might we might have to talk later on. We might have to talk. Alright. But for now, guys. Oh, it is Paladins, Nico. <laughs> Yeah, it is. It, it is. is. It is. It, it is, is Battleborn. Spot on, man. Spot yes, on. it is Battleborn. How did you know? <laughs> wait, Battleborn. Um, oh, oh, wait. Surprise. Yeah. Man, we'll right. talk later, Yuka. That's interesting. All right, guys. Any other questions, Mick? You want you want to fire anything, Yuko's way before we move on to our next uh, segment? Someone in the chat asked, uh, "Fries or, or Nendos?" Oh my goodness! Wait, I think mm. I know the guy who who pressed to ask that. Oh, it's uh, it's K. Shout out to you, yeah. man. Fries or yeah. Nendos? Oh my goodness! Let's see. Hum. Thank you for your question, Mr. Ravenna. Yeah. 
<laughs> it's, it's, so, it's, it's so difficult. Like, I can't even think of an answer straight up. Take your time. Take your wow. time. For the take meantime, time. we want to remind time. everyone to check out Yuko on her socials, Twitter at YukoPH and on Instagram yeah. at Yuko. Ishika. Okay, uh, let, 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 let's make it even harder because uh, Trandru in, in the chat also said Popeye. Okay. So Popeye's fries or Nendo's? Oh my God. Right. Let's let us let us take this one step at a time, okay? <laughs> Do not pressure me. You're overwhelming her. Just kidding. <laughs> for the first question, fries or Nando's, I would have to go with fries. Okay. Because I love fries choice. for the longest time, and it doesn't burn my wallet that quickly yeah. compared to an Nando. Well, um, mm, understood. Yeah. Right, right. Not it's as sustenance fast. after all. Uh, let's see. Um, second question. Yeah, from Trandrew is 2D handsome boys or Popeyes? 2D handsome boys, man. I don't even need to think twice. <laughs> oh. Oh. Do you see this? Oh, man. This. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Aside oh. from um, the normal Mobile Legends and uh, League of Legends game, I play a lot of Otome games. If you guys, if I'm friends oh. with you on Facebook, I almost post stuff like every day. My paycheck goes to those games. Okay, wow. I just love my two D boys oh, so boy. much. Oh, <laughs> it's not intense. Two D greater than three D? Is, is that uh? Is that... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. Looks like she, it. Doesn't, she doesn't want to say. She doesn't want to say. <laughs> oh man. Having a relationship with a 2D person, though, like, it's like, oh, wow, you look so good. And then you turn, and then it's like, I don't know where you are. Where, <laughs> where are you? Where, where, where are you? Go? Are you? <laughs> where are you? Oh, man. It's just That's like a so black fun. line in front of you. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. Fun stuff. Fun stuff. Guys, keep those questions coming, and we'll I be did. asking Yuko some more. DZ, what's up, brother? No, I think we skipped. I think we missed, oh, missed one question from Nico Plays PH. Go, go. Um, What's the so you go? What's the next hair color after blonde? Ooh, I actually, that's a really good question. I actually want to go blue. Ooh. So let's see. I'm not sure if I'm gonna go full blue or just you know ombre. Like keep this and mm. just blue. So let's see. Let's see. Okay. So interesting. This is, up. This is the story. I think. I, th I think. A girl who turned her hair blue. <laughs> I think blue would work on you so well. Yeah, I can't. I can, you know, great. do you have a timeline on when you want to decide, Yuko? Maybe like I have two weeks mm. just, um, before I start uh, another cast for Mobile Legends. I see. Oh, you want to go in fresh? Okay, good stuff. Yeah, good stuff. I know because when you, uh, I think. From I heard it from a friend that when you dye your hair a specific color like blue or something, it fades out like real fast. Yep, like even mm. gray. This is my gray now. It's blonde. Oh wow! <laughs> it really just oh. reverts back to blonde, right? Yeah, like no matter how much purple shampoo you just put on your hair, it just it disappears, man. It's so sad. Oh, wow, <laughs> that oh, is wow. pretty. Yeah, that's kind of a bummer. But I might I might want to add. Blonde works for you. So if blue doesn't work out so well, you know, mm -hmm. blonde is always an option. Blonde's gonna be okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Or you could try or you platinum. Go. Oh. Pla yeah, you platinum. Yeah. Mm, platinum silver. Truck. <laughs> mm, <laughs> platinum. Truck. <laughs> platinum. <laughs> platinum. <laughs> All right. Well, you go. This next segment on the show is a is a pretty fun one, actually. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring it up real quick here on the screen. Uh, we know that the internet is a place where everyone can post freely and no one will dig up the past. So <laughs> this is our segment that every other internet show does. We like to call it the internet is a safe place. Yuko, this is where we dig up your past on social media and ask you relevant questions based on them. All right. So Yuko, all right, all right. kindly, kindly answer a couple of questions for us based on some of these photos that we've dug up from your social media. Having early call times is very common for someone like you, Yuko, whether uh, it be photo shoots or conventions or uh, other live events like shoutcasting events and esports events that you have to attend. How important is it for Yuko Ishikawa to get her morning cup of coffee? <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Um, there was a phase that I drank a lot of coffee. That was maybe one, no, 
two or three years ago. But lately, I just revert to, you know what? Let's just not sleep at all. Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, but, no. But, yeah, it's before it's so important, like, out of 10, I would answer 11. But now I want to lay off on the caffeine. I just oh, want good. to drink warm milk and all that or play games or just talk with my 2D boys. I don't know, whichever works. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sometimes 2D <laughs> boys better than caffeine. Most of the time, That's yeah. 2D boys better than Especially yeah. if they say sweet lines and like, <laughs> I'm happy for five years and all that stuff. Oh, wow. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Girl, I respect the answer. But when you get to your <laughs> mid-20s, that's not going to happen. You're gonna get caffeine. I yeah. swear to God. Really? You know, I I never Don't drank scare her. Like, I, I, I'm I never... preparing her for the real yeah, world. This... No, I, I can't attest to this. I never drank coffee until I was 26, and now I I drink a cup a day. Okay, sometimes uh... too. I I can't go without it. I don't know why. I think it's something to do with our age. I don't know. Because we're not we're not that old. We're not that yeah, old. But, 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 but for some reason, like. When you reach this certain age, for some reason, we're just so tired. I don't know why. It's like it's like I'm winded when I go like three flights of stairs. I mean, like it is a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. Come on. But when I was when I was a young when I was a young stallion in college, <laughs> three flights was nothing, right? Oh, Mick, you are right. such a stallion. I swear. Oh man, I, I heard everyone call you that. You know, that was that was your nickname in college, the young stallion, yeah. Mick the Guzman. The young stallion. Oh, I like that. You know, that should be another title you put in his intro the yeah, young st- st- the one's <laughs> young stallion. Stallion. stallion can you say young stallion yeah, like 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 pinoy come on man oh the my one, god the once young stallion <laughs> stallion uh, oh wow. all right well <laughs> moving if i can find a way to move <laughs> on <laughs> Spe- uh, speaking of young stallions uh, speaking of young stallions is- guys uh <laughs> you know from finger hearts to tiktok challenges uh, to K-pop and K-dramas, Korean pop culture is Why really taking scared? over the Philippines. <laughs> All right. How, Yuko, I'm, I'm genuinely curious. How big of an influence do these things have in our local esports community? Because I've seen a lot of people reference mm-hmm. certain things. You know, I've, see, I've seen a lot of uh, crazes and a lot of uh, fan appreciation and standing for K-pop groups. How, how, how ravenous are our local esports uh, casters and producers about about Korean pop culture. All right, so um, my co-casters are actually all about the K-pop. Like they love uh, Twice, Blackpink. I actually like K-pop. I do like their songs, their music. But to give you more info on that photo, that is actually a Chinese drama that I love oh. so much. Ah. It's Love oh, Zero Two Zero. You guys should watch it not sponsored i just love it so much um is this, is this main... something we can watch legally because that's what we do here all right, we're all about yes. that legal stuff yep it's about gaming too if you're interested oh is that the um is that the uh, it's like the chinese drama that is like the dude king's avatar a, like the part of a, someone's team or something the, this oh. guy this uh he's from king's avatar this is the, i think it used to be a manga i'm not sure what they call it is that the Nicky king's avatar anime. yes this is the main guy this is this is like my my, my 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 husband from the anime okay so, husband. Uh, husband. Uh, yeah. so yeah it husband. actually the guy from the photo earlier in, in my ig he was the one that portrayed this character in the live action and it was oh. such a craze all over the world because the main character, like, he's super um, witty, he's super strong, but I'm, I'm not going to spoil or anything. <laughs> but, okay, like, in okay. the first few episodes, he got laid off his job because people said, you're too old for this. So he hmm. gave up his account, which he gave so much time and um love all that stuff he started from scratch he worked at a computer shop and people started noticing his talent and then he made a new team and is gonna defeat his previous team 
as appropriate. Ooh, so like okay. <laughs> All right. How long, like, if we get invested in this, how much time are we investing? Are we talking about three seasons of 14 episodes? Are we talking about, like, One Piece style where we have to go through our entire lives watching this thing? What, what are we talking about here? <laughs> Days of our lives and all that stuff. <laughs> Actually, um, I think it only has one season, and it only has oh. 13, 14 episodes for the anime. For the okay. live action, I think they have more, 20. It's, it's on Netflix. Look it up. Mm. Oh, okay. All right, you had us in Netflix. See, that's, that, that's what we want. Legal. 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 I know, Definitely. I know, right? right. Yeah. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But not, none of that T word over here. We don't do that. You know, no piracy. Yeah. Nar, nar. All right. You go last, <laughs> but not least. I'm not, I'm not, there's, not, there's no clever build up here. Can you give us some context behind this photo? <laughs> 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 okay, so there was I can explain. <laughs> Just kidding. There was a phase that I actually was a model, um, a runway model, and I started joining pageants and all that stuff with good reason. Um, oh wow! It wow. was. It's fun. <laughs> Again, my mom's very supportive. <laughs> Whenever yeah, I'm curious on something, she gives it gives it her all. So this was in. Teresa, if I'm not mistaken, and mm-hmm. I was one of the candidates who got few awards, and I stopped because why did I stop? Oh wait, I stopped because gaming happened. Oh. <laughs> I was like 16 when 16, 17 when this happened. Around the same time, I started my career as a showcaster. So it, it's fun to look back, though. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. And you look like you were having a lot of fun. All right, it's no <laughs> It's it's no playing uh, attorney games on your computer, but you know, like, right. <laughs> You look like you were having a lot of fun. That's awesome. So, is that a uh, part of you know, it looks like it's a part of your life that you look fondly back on. But again, I'm falling more and more in love with how awesome your mom is. All right? She's yeah. so supportive. That is so cool. Yeah. Man, you are, that's that's wow. amazing. That's amazing. Is is your mom your best friend? Do you have that kind of relationship? Actually, yes. Um, my mom's a single mom, so mm-hmm. ever since it's just been me and her. Okay. And um, lately, well, not not lately. Most of the time, people would ask, "Aren't you sad, or aren't you looking for your dad and that stuff?" So when mm-hmm. I was younger, I was like, "Why would I look for my dad?" <laughs> But oh, um, okay. in, the, in the in the latter part of life, I realized that my mom just balanced work and taking care of me so well that all my life I did not really look or ask where or who my dad is. Oh, I met him, but it's just even if we have our, my mom and I have bad days, I don't look for my dad. That's just how well she mm-hmm. supported and made me grow. That is so cool. Oh my god. That is I'm not gonna cry. Alright, I don't know about you guys. I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> Shout out to all the single mothers out there who are working, you know, maybe one or two jobs to support their children and who are very supportive of their dreams. Shout yeah, out to all of definitely. you. Definitely. You guys are the real heroes. Single parents in general, but yes, single parents. since it is women's month, single parents. So we moms. gotta go with the single moms. You guys are you guys are badass. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Uh, guys, we're wrapping up here on Game Bite. Let's get those questions in the chat and DZ and Mick percolate on those thoughts. Mm. Yuko, I have one real quick. If you weren't doing esports right now, you know, since we're talking about all your uh, previous lives and all those fantastic uh, careers you've gone through, mm-hmm. uh, or all those interests you've also indulged in, if you weren't in esports right now, what would you be doing? I would probably be taking up law. Ooh. Interesting. It's not too late. You're, you're still yeah, very, <laughs> very young. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, that's interesting. Well, yeah. um, it's just something that this is going to sound very cheesy and very cliche. But like, you know, those moments are in you, you kind of want to help someone in the court. Like, all these mm-hmm. issues you see on Facebook, not gonna yeah. dive into that, but, you know, you just wish that you could do something for them. You feel bad mm-hmm. because they can't afford a lawyer. So, me being me, um, I always think, what would have happened if I can help this person? Or what can anyone do 
to clear up this misunderstanding or like if this is wrong is that right and all that yeah stuff. yeah yeah wow. You, wow and the caster with the heart of gold yuko shikawa <laughs> the next ace attorney that's amazing that's yeah. amazing all right dz mick guys let's wrap things up any questions you want to throw the way of the lovely yuko we've taken up so much of her time already we're not going to dally yeah. too much uh i have one uh, you, you did mention a while ago you're, you you appreciate K-pop. Do you have any Twitch bias? Do you have a twice bias? Sana. Ooh, interesting. <laughs> we asked Butters, and he, he was really into Chewy, and I'm personally a Chewy. Dayu guy. So, yeah, but Sana, wow. Yeah. She, what about for Blackpink, though? If I may use the term, she is hot. <laughs> oh, <laughs> for, wow. for Blackpink, I would have to go with Lisa. Just because I love how she dances. I used to dance a lot. And mm. a part of me just misses dancing whenever I see her, you know, striking those poses and just dancing very, very stylish. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I screwed it up. Yeah, it's, I said Twitch bias by accident. My bad. My oh, bad. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I too have a Twitch. Yeah. Twitch Sneaky bias. Frog 1 said his Twitch bias is Harold. Ah, uh, you sweet sneaky. I see you. Yeah. I recognize you. So you sneaky. Recognize you. Yeah. Sneaky frog. Sneaky frog. Good to see you, sneaky. Yeah. Thank you for stopping by. Yeah. All right. If you have any questions to Yuko, although I'm pretty sure you frequent her stream, so you probably ask a lot of questions as is. But if you, you know, want to know more about Yuko, now is now is a good time. We're having a good time mm -hmm. here. The game bite, and we swear we're not paying Yuko to say that. We're not paying her anything. <laughs> so she's here yeah. on her own volition, but she's having a good time. Hopefully. I'm really hoping am, that she's having a good time. Thank you so much. She's I I was actually very nervous because I I technically don't know you guys yet prior mm -hmm. to the interview. So I'm like, exactly. will they like me? Will I be able to answer the questions? But like after during the pre interview we just had fun, the, you know, uh flavor of the fries, all that stuff, the then goes. Yeah. It's it's just really fun. Thank you. Thank you. But it's about to get really hard. We're about to ask you some some complicated calculus. Right, you're going to have to solve it oh, on no. stream. It's and time then... to say goodbye. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Uh, yeah. Sneaky in the chat says, Yuko is part of the Very Young Shot Casters Club, which I'm also a part of. I, I know that for a fact. He's, actually, you and I know that Sneaky's actually quite young. His, his uh, physical appearance belies the youth that, uh, that, 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 that lays under. That that, that experience exterior. So good stuff. <laughs> good stuff. All right. Nice. Uh, Furybot. Oh yes, Tandrew. She is on on Facebook. Yuko, where do you stream on Facebook? Yeah, let let everyone know. Um, I do have a page. Uh, Yuko PH. If you guys wanna drop by, leave a like <laughs> and subscribe. Just kidding. No, no subscribe button yet. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Give her some stars. You know. Yeah. What do we yeah. do? Yeah. What do we do on Facebook? What do we do? <laughs> <laughs> is it stars? It's stars. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it's Thro stars. Throw some stars her way, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, Yuko, I know we've taken a lot of your time, and I'm, I apologize for running extra long, but we've we've enjoyed ourselves talking to you so much, and we're glad that you've enjoyed yourself on the show. This definitely won't be the last time we're talking to you. If we have our way, this has been so fun. I'm not, guys. We we used to say this to every guest. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, 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 we we've slowed down a little bit because we, I've been meaning it more and more. You've been one of our, you've been one of my favorite guests, Yuko. Thank you for coming on the show. Oh, thanks uh, so much. This is gonna be hard. I'm gonna have separation anxiety, but we have to end the show now. All right, we're, we're gonna have to do this right now. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do it quick and painless. I'm gonna I'm gonna rip the bandaid off. I'm gonna ask everyone at home to check us out wherever you can on social medias because we have a lot of fun making content like that women's month trailer that we had uh featuring the one and only fox rot in her sombra cosplay that was super amazing but for now we want to give a thanks a huge thanks to everyone who subscribed to us like trandrew gave us a prime sub dz mick mm -hmm. they, he gave us a prime sub first time yeah, on on quetzalan thank you thank you thank you so much and I want to thank everyone in the chat, like like uh, Mr. Ravenna, Keithy-nated, keeping it Keithy-nated <laughs> in the chat. All right, Midjelly, just a random dude, Sneaky Frog, managing to make it to the very end. 
Uh, who else do we see? Luana SMG, Carrie for rating us with the with, with her party of nine, yeah, uh, and so much more. Everyone stopped by. Nico plays. Stopped by. Garolf was here. Shell Fox was yeah. here. Uh, I we I know we miss people from time to time when we do this, but Just really everyone, food. even if we didn't mention your name, we really do appreciate you guys coming mm-hmm. on and checking us out. Like you like if we, if we read your comment or if we missed it, know that we appreciate. You just as equally. Uh, again, thank you to all our most recent followers like Tran, Drew, like Keefe Nated, Cranberry, uh, Sarangola11, Banjo, uh, Wanderdrift, Ice Crew. You guys are all awesome. Uh, thank you to everyone who subscribed to us like Human Panda 22 like Gibbs from, the, from Gibbs and Chill Fame. All right. Nerf Diva for all the bits that you've cheered and so much more. You guys are all amazing. Bemo King of Ooh as well, giving us. Uh, her 16th month tier one subscription. All right. Yuko. Yuko. Let everyone know, know where they can find you on the internet when you're not on a show like Game Bite. All right. So uh, to anyone out there, uh, my Facebook name is Yuko Ishikawa. My page is Yuko PH. And for Instagram and Twitter, it's at Yuko Ishikawa and at Yuko Peach. So it's not very diverse. I know I'm lazy that way. But it's easier to remember, right? I mean, it's just two words. Yuko Ishikawa at Yuko PH. Um, you guys will see me shoutcast a handful of games, mostly Mobile Legends. So I just hope to see you guys there. And thank you so much for having me at the show and to everyone that is still watching and drop by. And I hope to see you again. To see you guys again next time. Woo! That's awesome. Ooh. Real quick. You mentioned that you have an event coming up in two weeks. Where is that and when is that? Oh, it is um, MPL Season 5. It's going to be in Makati, if I'm not mistaken. But you can just watch the live stream at Mobile Legends Bang Bang. Awesome stuff. All right, Mick, where can everyone at home find you when you're not on Game Bite? You can find me on Twitter and on Instagram at the Fury Bot. And aside from that, you can always find me here every Wednesday night, 9.30 p.m. Philippine time, 5 or 6.30 a.m. California time, here at Game Bite, only here at twitch.tv slash quitstalling. What about you, Diego? We're going to focus on home find you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> you guys can find me at, uh, okay, on Instagram, that's at InstaDZ. That's I-N-S-T-A-D-E-E-Z-E-E. I'm reviving my old Facebook page where I post most of my content. Yeah, um, so that's facebook.com slash Diego Zuluaga123. It sounds so badoy because it's 123. That's because apparently there's a bajillion Diego Zuluagas in the world. (laughs) (laughs) I can't find anything unique right now. And the thing is, I can't... (laughs) And that's my page. That's not my personal... The thing is, I can't make my personal Facebook um, name the same as my page. So it's it's hard. Oh, yeah. Especially when you do the ad thing. So people can search. So I have to think about that. But anyway, yeah, uh, that's where you can find me on. That's on Facebook. Um, where else? Oh, my website. Uh, yeah, outside all this uh, podcasting stuff, I'm a freelance director. But at the same time, uh, I'm an editor. <laughs> but the website, uh, www.diegoz.com. Bimo King of Who? No. <laughs> no, God, no. Please, no. No, Hola, no, Carlos. no. <laughs> Diego, Hola. there may be a lot of Diego Zawagas out there in the world, but there's only one D's Nut 69. Hell you guys yeah. can find me at Harold Plays on Twitter and on Instagram. You can find me on the Quit Stalling Geek Cast, and pretty much everything to do with Quit Stalling at the moment has my fingerprints on it. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you have to go through every single little thing that we make here, but we put our heart and soul into it. So please enjoy, and we hope you do. You guys can find our content outside of Twitch, of course. The link's below. That's right. Instagram, at Quit Stalling. Check out those stories, because we like to tell long tales well 15 seconds you guys can check us out on facebook facebook.com slash quit stalling us we're on twitter at quit stalling us we're on youtube youtube.com slash quit stalling because you know what we've been uploading a hell of a lot of stuff that you might enjoy just like renzo's guide to getting your loved ones into dungeons and dragons it's called role persuasion check it out it's an amazing video i took my time editing that one it was so fun you guys can check out voice it's really, it's not buttery smooth. It's gravelly and sexy. Uh, you guys can check out. <laughs> you guys can check out the rest of our content for the month of March, featuring amazing, talented, geeky gamers and game developers, and so much more here on 
quit stalling, so check it out. Guys, it's been an amazing show. It's been an amazing chat. And of course, a lovely and talented guest. We'll see you guys real soon here on Quit Stalling. But till then, we'll see you guys next week. Same butt time, same butt channel. Get off your butts and quit stalling. That's it from us. We'll see you guys next time. Check out the pre-show, uh, the post-show. Bye, everybody. Bye.